This ritual will help you create duplicates of things. You can use this to make more money, replicate rare objects, or even make doppelgangers of people. However, this can be unreliable, as you have to complete the ritual successfully in order to duplicate the item in question. You will need a long, windowless corridor, or one with windows you can paint over. There must be no light in the corridor at all, or else you might as well just run around in a well-lit corridor or outside for all it will matter. A good pair of running shoes, it would be wise for you to be in fit physical condition. As long as you feel you can win the race, you're good. Blood, it doesn't have to be yours, and you won't need much. Just enough to draw to lions, one to start, and one for the finish. Lastly, the object you wish to duplicate. While there are no restrictions as to what it can be, as the ritual can seemingly duplicate any item, I would recommend not doing it with something you hold, dear or is irreplaceable, i.e. your girlfriend, your dog, your grandma's wedding ring. You need an object to complete the ritual, or else it will be you who will disappear at the end. Money is always a safe go but bring cash. First, you will have to make sure there is no light in the corridor. If you can see your hand in front of your face, there's too much light. I know it's dangerous to run around in the dark, but it's also dangerous to take random rituals off the internet and follow them in hopes. You might get something good out of them. For the next part, you'll need the blood. Draw a line at the beginning of the corridor with enough space for you to stand behind it. Feel your way down the hall to the end and draw another one there. Leave the object you wish to duplicate at the finish line or on the sidelines, it's not required. But it's always good to keep your possessions in a safe place. Make sure the blood lines go all the way across the hall. This will restrict the space the entity you are about to summon can move around him. He won't be able to cross any of the blood lines, which is why some people choose to draw another line in between them and the entity. I would not recommend this, as if you cross any of the blood lines once it is summoned, it will be able to do the same, which is why you're drawing the blood lines now before you summon it. Now comes for the summoning. You don't need any protective circles or talismans or items of power or any of that fancy nonsense bullshit. Just clear your mind and think very carefully about a racer in the dark. You have to be very non-specific for this part as it can change forms quite easily at will and restricting it to one form in your summoning will confuse it and turn it away. If you hear a sound next to you, you'll know he's there. Don't look at him, you won't be able to see him, but if you look at him anyway, he'll take it as an insult. This is the racer in the dark. He will say to you in a deep, raspy voice, you are to reply double or nothing. Don't get greedy and go for triple or quadruple or he'll kill you then and there. And take your object with him as punishment for your avarice. What's next is simple. Call three, two, one. Go and run on go. You'll need the head start. What the racer sounds like varies depending on what form he chooses sounding like anything from a horse galloping to human running and even a train clickety clacking along invisible tracks. But his speed is always the same, faster than the pace you find yourself running at. To win this race, you'll have to listen for him. And when he catches up to you, you'll have to push yourself harder to distance yourself from him. He'll always catch up. So this is more than a test of endurance than anything. You'll also have to be careful not to slip or fall, as if you do, 
You will be unable to catch up to him again, and he will win. You reach the finish line before he does. You will find that whatever object you put down, however much cash you bet, has doubled. There will be a note next to it, saying again, It is very important you do not take him up on this. As he was holding back this race, the racer can run faster than the speed of light and was only going easy on you so that you would accept this next race. Don't fall for it. No matter how good you feel about your ability to outrun him, as he won't just take the object you put, he'll take you too. No one who has ever attempted the rematch has had it end successfully. However, if you slip or fall, or if you can't keep pace with him, You'll hear him rush past you, laughing, and when you go to check for your object, it'll be gone. This is why I recommended you don't do it with people. He doesn't even leave their bodies. No one has ever worked out where the racer comes from or where he takes his prizes. Everyone has tried to tie this down to a figure from Irish, Japanese, or Russian folklore. The truth is, no one knows, and he doesn't take kindly to people asking questions about it. All he is to people is a way to get a little bit extra cash out of your paycheck, a way to pass on an heirloom without losing it or a way to finally have that threesome. So what do you say, feeling lucky? <laughs>